If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, does anxiety get worse over time if left untreated? Answer by Kelly Allen. Anxiety is a state of worry about future events, imagined or real, which can disrupt a person's life owing to the distress it causes. Also, the fact that anxiety can occur in many forms including panic attacks, social anxiety, phobias, anxiety attacks, generalized anxiety, etc., makes it all the more imperative to get professional help at the earliest. To know more about anxiety, read, Anxiety Affects Body in Weird Ways. Until recently, it was thought that anxiety disorders reduce in severity with age. However, recent studies have confirmed that it is the other way around. This happens because as anxiety develops, thoughts and behaviors that fuel anxiety become intense, in turn creating a vicious cycle in the brain. For more helpful tips visit, click underscore sober. Further, the way anxiety works, if the negative experiences that one fears are left unchallenged and the concerned individual is not exposed to the negative stimuli, he or she starts trying to avoid them making the anxiety worse. When this happens repeatedly, the brain essentially learns to feed off the negative experience, which further fuels this vicious cycle of anxiety and negativity. Hence, as time passes, a person with untreated anxiety starts experiencing severe episodes. Untreated anxiety can affect the life of an individual in multiple ways including the following. This is why early diagnosis of anxiety disorders is important so that the symptoms can be controlled before the condition worsens. One should consult a qualified mental health care practitioner with an open mind, and if a diagnosis is done, he or she should follow the recommended treatment religiously. Remember, recovery is as real as the illness. So, one should not fret over having a mental disorder, instead one should focus on learning tools and strategies that can be beneficial in managing anxiety attacks and reducing the severity as treatment progresses. If you have further questions, please feel free to post them here. For a one-on-one -on -one conversation with our team of experts, please leave your contact details. Hi, Ishida. I hope the answer for your question is helpful to you. Follow below links for more help. 1. Facebook, hashtag ask, hooked, sober, 2. Twitter, hashtag ask, hooked, sober, answer by, rp debagot, an anxiety or panic attack can and does eventually go on its own if left alone. Some people panic more during a panic attack because they don't know what's going on which is natural understanding how disconcerting it can be. The best is to lie down and let it go away on its own. After all, anxiety is a stressful reaction to a non-stressful situation, thought or incident. However, if you suffer with anxiety attacks often or have a sense of impending doom, latent anxiety and social anxiety, leaving your condition unattended can definitely make it worse. I think there are certain insecurities, trauma and self-esteem issues behind anxiety disorder. One needs treatment to understand what these underlying causes of anxiety are in order to heal from the issue since anxiety disorders can be quite crippling. Basically, anxiety is a heightened sensitivity to various fears which can be traced back to a person's history. It could also be linked to physiological problems in which case a blood analysis can potentially solve the problem. But what's critical is to understand that anxiety is a common problem nowadays. So, seeking treatment is not anything shameful at all. Stress is all around us. Suppressing or hiding it will only trigger more stress and hence, anxiety. A2A. Answer by, Danny Greaves. The NHS report that 1 in 20 adults suffer from and regularly experience some form of anxiety most days, and this ranges from mild to severe. The current medical model, and from what I can gather in your questioning, leads us a little way to discovering the answer. Feelings of anxiety have an initial route cause. However, once a person has been experiencing anxiety for some time, it tends to lend itself to the formation of certain thinking patterns and the use of certain linguistic patterns, which make breaking free from anxiety difficult, unless you can change the way you think, but which is not as difficult as is it sounds. I have attached an anxiety audio starter pack recording to the bottom of this article, so if you would like to relax and allow some hypnotic patterns to help change some of your language patterns unconsciously, then please feel free to down it. Two of the most prominent and troublesome features of anxiety are chest pain and sweating. These can be extremely unpleasant, and cause even greater panic as they can mimic symptoms involved in a cardiac arrest. So how does anxiety cause chest pain and sweating? 
and what can be done to resolve the symptoms in the long term. Sweating, the National Institute of Mental Health NIMH, reports that the amygdala, a primitive part of the brain, stimulates a chain reaction which leads to the release of a group of chemicals called catecholamines, also known as neurotransmitters, primarily dopamine, norepinephrine and epinephrine, adrenaline, as well as a specific protein. The overall effect of those is that they decrease sleep, increase alertness, and create a sense of anxiety. The physical effect is that blood is moved away from the skin to support the heart and the muscle tissues. This would reduce blood loss in the case of a cut or a wound from an attack for example. However, the physical effects are cool, clammy, sweaty skin. The scalp also tightens and so hair seems to stand up. Chest pain Chest pain from anxiety is estimated to last up to 20 minutes, and may include heart palpitations, breathlessness and dizziness. When the amygdala perceives a threat, your nervous system initiates the fight-or-flight response. This is a part of our nervous system that adjusts our autonomic processes such as breathing, heart rate and blood pressure, and can dramatically increase activity. This can cause rapid contractions of the blood vessels in the lungs leading to hyperventilation and considerable chest pain. So what causes this? From a body-mind worker perspective, we are interested in what happens for the amygdala to engage and initiate this chemical reaction in the first place. If a lion jumps out of the bushes as we are walking through the jungle it is essential to our survival that this mechanism works and allows us to fight or flee. But what happens when we experience this response when we just are in a room of people? Or if we are about to speak in public? Or if it happens at work? or even if it happens for no apparently reason at all. This is where a principle unique to body-mind workers can help. Our mind uses the screen to inform our system so us in other words, as to what is going on. The screen is below our conscious awareness, you won't know you have one, and if you enter into an environment, or a certain context, where there is information on screen, the amygdala can perceive the same type of threat as if there was a lion in the room. This then kicks off the cascade of chemical events I mentioned earlier. And all you are aware of is the feeling of anxiety. How is this resolved? In the long term, a body-mind worker session is aimed at teaching you how the mind works, so that you can engage and interact with your own screen, and update and upgrade the information on screen so that your amygdala no longer perceives a threat. Unless that line makes an appearance, body-mind workers utilize language and nonverbal communication to allow you to adjust the screen and move to a more resourceful state thus removing the root cause for the anxiety and providing you with tools to move on in life. If you would like the completely free download, which I would recommend listening to 12 times per day over a 1014 day period, just click here.